back to Sports Edge, joined now by a lot of baseball talent on this couch. Uh, the Gazo boys, starting with Dad Morrow, son Sal, and son Paul. Uh, just finishing up a great high school baseball career. I know, guys, it didn't end the way you wanted to at Sheehan High School. You were the champs last year. Fell one game short of getting back to it. You guys dealing with it okay? Yeah, it was a tough game. Can't uh, forget about the four great years that we had. Like Paul said, it was a great experience. You know, growing from coming in as a eighth grader, 14 year old, you know, don't know really, you know who you really are. Definitely a, a growing experience, but you know, I had a lot of fun. Dad, as you look back on their career, it's gonna continue as, as you're both going to Tulane uh, on scholarship, but when you look at their high school career, uh, can you imagine them achieving much more than they did? I think they've achieved what they wanted to. Um, obviously, you know, they want to win more championships. They're competitive. Uh, but uh, they're playing at the next level, and that's what they've been working for. All right, guys, what was it like growing up in your house? Dad played in the big leagues, played for a, a few teams over many years, uh, Blue Jays mostly, uh, and the Mets, but was it a baseball house? Were you batting balls around the house all the time? Oh, all the time. We started off with, uh, like, bowling pins and wiffle balls uh, in the house. Made my mom crazy, but uh, <laughs> it was constant baseball, and it's always been. Uh, we went home. We go home after the games and we talk baseball for two two hours at times. Who was the best in-house baseball player? <sighs> I'm with me. I, I, I definitely knocked down a couple of pictures. Oh, sure. <laughs> so, so you broke more stuff. Yeah, huh? so yeah. I, that's how I based on. I was afraid was of being destructive. <laughs> <laughs> and if you broke something, did you blame him? No, I uh, I usually got the blame from everyone. So. <laughs> And, and this is something, though, baseball isn't something just because Dad played in the big leagues, like you had to play. You guys love the sport. Yeah, you know, it's just something like anybody, when they love something, like you, you, every day it's like you have to do it. Something that you can't just live without. What's the, the, the best piece of advice you think you can give these guys? Well, I, I, I think it's, you know, give 100% to whatever you're doing. Um, I, I think that's the way they were raised. You know, I, I never forced them to go out and practice. They've always done it on their own. Um, I remember the days they would ask me, um, you know, to go throw them some extra batting practice or hit them ground balls. So um, they're pretty self-driven. That's basically, I think, why they are who they are. When you're in the big leagues, how, how fast can you get it up there? Uh, I think the, the hardest I've ever got clocked was like 92 miles an hour. Um, but the, the higher I was clocked, the harder it was getting hit. So, oh. <laughs> did, did Dad ever bring it 92 to you guys at all? No, no. I um, actually saw some film on him a few couple of times, and he, he brought it for sure. But yeah, never to us. Yeah, when he when he throws BP though, you can tell he's trying to bring it though. Yeah. It's nice, it's nice and firm. So, that, yeah. you know, that definitely helped us. He gets competitive in the cage a little yeah. bit. Does it? No. <laughs> Sometimes he tries to get us out. He still has it, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of the mustache back in the playing days? Have you seen the baseball Oof. cards? I like the mullet. The I like the mullet that yeah. he had. Yeah, I, I didn't. Really, I wasn't a fan of the mustache, <laughs> but I like the mullet. I tried to do the mullet a little bit oh, yeah. the past few years, but I don't think I could get uh, as good as he did. Can't rock it like no, that. No, <laughs> Moral, they're they're headed to to Tulane and, and potentially might be drafted. Those are two great options to have, but it's it's going to be school all the way, right? Uh, 100, you know, 99.9%. Uh, um, you know, they've got nice offers uh, uh, to go to a, a great institution in, in Tulane University. Um, I mean, just the, the fact that uh, they're even considered um, and some of the things that they did this summer with the uh, Erie Code game teams and the uh, East Coast Pro teams and uh, just the fact that they may have a chance to do that. Um, if it's not in the cards now, I, I would certainly hope they would get a chance later on. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're students of the game, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, their hard work continues to pay off. Dad says students of the game, but, but pretty good students, too. You guys took the books uh, pretty seriously. Well, you, when you grow up uh, having a mom as a teacher, you know, you, you learn that, you know, grades are important. And, you know, one day if baseball doesn't work out and it's your, you have no other option, you have to lean back on your grades. When we were being uh, recruited, uh, one of the first things that they ask you is, what are your SAT scores, what are your grades, what's your GPA like? And if we didn't work hard in school, starting our middle school years, elementary school years, through our high school years, we wouldn't have been able to do what um, we were able to do. Was it going to be a package deal, no matter what, or that what you guys were hoping for, to, to go to the same school and play again? Uh, it was mostly the same schools that liked us, uh, but when it came down to it, we, we decided to you know go together. Dad had a nickname back in the day, huh? Where'd you get that from? Is Goose? Yeah. Uh, my high school coach gave it to me uh, probably uh, after my freshman year in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was fortunate enough to get drafted out of high school back in 1984, 
Um, some of the scouts put the, on the draft card, they put Goose mm -hmm. uh, instead of Morrow. Um, everybody but uh, my wife basically calls me Goose, <laughs> and it's been that uh, ever since. You guys got nicknames? That some kids do, you know, usually call us Goose or, yeah, the geese. <laughs> it, would be, yeah, it would be okay to follow in, in Dad's footsteps a little bit, huh? Um, yeah. No problem with that. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> well, guys, thanks for coming in, and, and best of luck in, uh, in college or in the draft. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank it's you. Appreciate on. it. Thank you. I want to go get a game going now? Yeah. <laughs>